I'm confused, Kent. See, I've lived in Metropolis most of my life, and I can't figure out how some yokel from Smallville is suddenly getting every hot story in town. Well, Lois, the truth is, I'm actually Superman in disguise, and I only pretend to be a journalist in order to hear about disasters as they happen, and then squeeze you out of the byline. You're a sick man, Kent. You asked. I didn't forget to pick you up at the airport, Lois. The reason I wasn't there is because I was protecting people. I'm the red-blue blur. <laughs> That's the best you can do. <laughs> that thing that saved you from the speeding car, that was me. That time the barn door flew off its hinges, you thought it was a weather anomaly. I did that. Yeah, right. What'd you do? Sneeze? Actually... Clark, next time you liquid lunch, take the rest of the day off. Let me help you with that. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Guess I should stop calling you Smallville. Who's asking? Clark? Or Superman? Shouldn't you be at the Luther Mansion arranging flowers? <laughs> That's just it. Uh, I am at the mansion, but I kind of need your help. Where are you? Downstairs in the wine cellar. Chloe! Chloe? Hurry, I'm freezing in here. The handle broke, Chloe. Come on. Thank you so much. Next thing we're going for a bottle of wine at 11 in the morning, go for a red. Yeah, I'm so, so sorry. I, uh, 
know you'd rather be tied to a boulder of kryptonite than come down here for ground zero of the Luther Lang wedding, but I didn't have a choice. It wasn't my fault. Lana hid Lex's wedding present down here, and she asked me to come down and get it, and then the door shut. I think this is easy for me. I think it's easier than getting hurt. Click, you don't hesitate to run into a burning building or jump in front of a bullet because nothing can penetrate that iron flesh of yours. But the one time saving Lana means putting your heart on the line, the Man of Steel is nowhere to be found. Giving up Lana is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. And if you don't know that, you don't know me very well. If you want to kill Superman, I don't know why you're going to Smallville or why 1966. She doesn't know yet. Well, this is good. This is really good. Um, Lois, did you know that in the future you're revered at the same level as Superman? Why, there are books about you, statues, an interactive game. You're even a breakfast cereal. Really? Yes. But as much as everybody loves you, there is one question that keeps coming up. How dumb was she? Here. I'll show you what I mean. And, uh, look. I'm Clark Kent. No, I'm Superman. Mild-mannered reporter. Superhero. Hello? Duh. Clark Kent is Superman. <laughs> Well, that was worth the whole trip. To actually meet the most galactically stupid woman who ever lived. <laughs> Come on, Herb. Clark and Superman are dead. The future belongs to me. <laughs> Lois, you're all right. I thought that... Don't pretend that hurt, Superman. Boy, I sure must have looked like an idiot. Jumping in the river, waiting for Mr. Wonderful. Who obviously had better things to do. Oh, well, I... Uh... I'm sure it must have been something uh, very important, Lois. And I'm thinking that you were... Carrie White could see me now. Where's my comb? Where's my comb? God, not only have I lost my mind, I've lost my comb. Clark, can you pass me that brush over there, please? I'm sure. No, no, it's, it's, it's okay. Clark, let me no. see your hand. No. Give it to me. No, no, it's all right. Let me no, look no. at it. You are Superman. Oh, Lois, come on. Don't be... You didn't want to with your mind, but maybe you wanted to with your heart.
We better talk. I'm in love with you. Then we really better talk. Not if it means putting your life at risk. I wish he knew that I was willing to take that risk. All my life I've been afraid, Lois. Afraid of people knowing the truth about me. Afraid of them rejecting me, and even if they didn't, still losing them. I've been afraid of everything I can't control. But when I was faced with the idea of losing you forever, it made me realize there's something that I would regret more than anything else, and that's not telling you the truth about me. Because that's the only way we could share a life together. I know the odds are stacked against us, and we'd be risking everything, but if you're ready to take that leap, there's no one else that I want to take that leap with. Lois, you've had a lot of questions about the blur. It's me. I'm the blur. What? You 